welcome to another episode of Miked Up with Mike, where we discuss TOA's product lineup. This video is a follow-up to our TS820 and 920 infrared conference system video. I will be demonstrating the step-by-step -step process to connect the PTZ Optics camera to our TS conference system. Both the PTX12X USB G2 and PTX20X USB G2 models are compatible. The addition of the camera will enhance the overall performance of the system and provide a more personal touch during conversation. Adding a camera to the TS820 and 920 system is easy. Simply connect an RS232 DB9 connector to the dedicated port. And then through the dedicated software, we can program camera coordinates for our conference units. When we initially set up a camera with the TS conference system, we set up a default position for the camera to point to. In this case, it's the chairman. A delegate unit can speak by pressing the talk button. When they do that, the camera will pan to the delegate unit. The chairman can interrupt the delegate unit by pressing and holding the priority button. The camera will then pan to the chairman unit. When the priority button is released, the camera will pan back to the delegate to finish their state. When the delegate is done speaking, the camera will go back to the default position. Now, let's jump into the software so we can see how to set up a conference system. Let's look at adding an OnVIF camera to the TS conference system. Start by opening the software, entering the project name and the password, as well as selecting the type of equipment you're using. Please keep in mind that only the TS820 and TS920 central units can support OnVIF cameras. Here we can see the details of our conference. We can add a camera by clicking the camera button. By clicking the camera button, we can see that we have an OnVIF internet camera support, but no cameras listed below. After the system has initialized, we can see that it tallies two units in conference. We can click OK. We can see that the software detects TS920 conference units, but does not detect a camera. We can add the camera by clicking the camera icon, or camera function setting change. This window will display the total number of cameras, the number of automatic cameras, and the number of free cameras for use. There are several ways to add cameras. If we right click the camera list button, we can see we can increase increase from file. As well, we can search for cameras. If we are to increase, this will then populate a camera in the list. If we choose increase from list, we can pick a previously configured camera to add to our conference. The easiest method is to search for cameras. Click the search for camera button. Enter the IP address range of your camera. I know my camera's IP address is .88. So I will enter a short range to find the camera quickly. We can see it's there, and clicking the checkbox will allow us to import it. Now that the camera has been added, we can define the coordinates. By clicking the camera, it shows us the address number, the IP address number, as well as the username and password for this camera. Enter the username and password you would use to access the web browser GUI for this camera. When done, we can click Test Connection, and we can see we can connect to the camera. Next, we need to tell the system what conference units this camera will be tracking. If we click the three-dot icon beside Pointing Unit, it will show us a list of units. For this purpose, we're going to select both. Now we have to define specific coordinates for our chairman and delegate unit. Under the preset window, we can choose which unit we want to program. We're going to start with the chairman unit. The other way is to access the camera's web interface. If we navigate to the web interface, we can then use the web camera controls to pan tilt and zoom into our conference unit. 
When this is done, we go back to the TS software and click record. It will show us that the recording is successful and also show recorded under status. We can go back to the web interface for the camera and move the camera slightly. Then go back to the TS software and choose record confirmation. The camera will then snap back to the previously recorded position and show that the recording confirmation is successful. Now let's program the delegate unit. Select delegate from the conference unit dropdown and then navigate back to the web interface for the camera. Pan, tilt and zoom the camera until the subject is in focus. Then return back to the TS software. Click record and it will show us that we have successfully recorded the coordinates. We can then adjust the camera slightly on the web interface and then return to the software to confirm the recorded information. We can choose a default location for our pan tilt zoom camera. In this instance we're going to use the chairman unit as the default location. This means any time the conference starts or no conference unit is being used, the camera will be focused on the chairman unit. From here, we can save the profile and use it for other conference units. When finished, click Save to put the camera into use and then click Close. We can now see that the TS software is showing the camera as an active device in our conference. Since the chairman unit is going to be our default position, when we start conference, the camera will then pan and tilt and zoom to the predetermined coordinates for the chairman unit. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Look for more Mic'd Up with Mike videos on TOA Canada's YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.